I go to closing. Awesome. You're in Chile, right? Yes, in Santiago. How are things there? Are you open? Are you closed? Like in terms of COVID, I mean, <laughs> this time. In COVID? Yeah. Uh, we are still using mask. Uh -huh. uh, we like we have like eighty percent of the population with vaccines. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's decreasing. It's decreasing. Uh, we hope. We're but you hoping can move that freely, right? You, you don't have restrictions now. Mm, yeah, low restrictions. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Life. The the cinemas are open, you know. But the only thing is not we are not making public um, events, big ah, yes. like yeah. concerts, you know. Yeah, I think it's the same here actually. Check if you can see the our call on your uh, or my wall. You should be able to see. It. Uh -huh. it's yes, age. I sh share it with in exactly. the. I'm just sharing your news. Different. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Wonderful. I shared the Warrior for Elements uh, publication. It's okay. Ah, no, uh, you can share the, um, the live from my wall so then people can see the interview. Ah, the live, mm -hmm. the live in, in my uh, in own your... uh, wall. I'm sharing now so Warriors for Elements. Your wall? Uh, I'm going to share it also in Warriors. If, you, if it's easier for you there, check it out. You should be able to see it there. Now it's both on my wall and the page, whatever feels Facebook, like. yes. Easier for you, yeah. To do it post it takes a few seconds sometimes. Yeah. Oh no, 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 it's up here. Okay. Perfect. We are. Uh, 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 okay. Wonderful. So I'm very glad that we are connecting today after some back and forth to find a good, a good time that uh, for both of us to be available. <laughs> Let me know when you're finished there. So we can it's OK. Yes? I'm ready. Wonderful. Awesome. So yeah, it's wonderful that we're connecting again after I don't know, a year and a half, two years or something, something like that. Yes, two it, years. Yeah. I was crazy, in another right? office and, and a smaller office in that ah, time. I, I was sure we are, we are growing. growing. <laughs> I am not sure yes. about that, like because what you're doing is super interesting. But before we go there, I was also realizing that I didn't know how you got there, like how you ended up working in something so inspiring. So if if you allow me, tell me a little bit of the background like who is carlos and how did you end up becoming an entrepreneur I, I call them spiritual entrepreneurs so meaning somebody who's really following guidance and doing a project quite differently of how others would have been doing it yes well um i am 39 years old i studied industrial engineering and i worked for 10 years almost for big multinational companies here in Chile. I was manager of big mining companies and technology company. So I decided to resign to my job uh, when I realized that I will, I will I become a father. So I, my child was the most important thing for me in that minute. So I resigned to my, to my job. And I, I took like a six months of only with my child without, without, without a work. 
So in, in that time, I, I started um, studying uh, about climate change, about new economies, uh, about all the, this change of paradigm uh, for, of, for humanity uh, in, in this time of challenge. And uh, I decided to use all my knowledge in business and all my passion in business for try to get a solution, try to get a solution of for this awful system that is destroying the earth and destroying the people. So I worked for three years uh, dedicated to to understand society, understand economy, and here in Chile, and looking at different options of new kind of structures or new kind of organizations that are building new things, you know, for, for, for society. And I realized that the most efficient organizations to, to do these changes are uh, companies, you know, are, are networks that, that, that are organized to, to, to create solutions, to create uh, new ways of do th doing things. And uh, I realized to be, because I was in the big companies that if you start a new company that changed the world and grow, 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 um, you will have maybe hundreds or thousands of people working, you know, thousands of thousands of thousands of customers. So it's a big network that you can use to solve problems. So I decided to found um, social growing that is uh, this, this, that is that, you know, is new kind of companies dedicated to solve uh, social or environmental issues and with another consciousness. It's a new system based in happiness. You know, I am a happiness manager now of my company and we do business, new kind of business, disrupting business to, start new a new paradigm here in Chile uh, you know so it's it's difficult to start a new paradigm always <laughs> most in <laughs> in economy because everybody you know in the world I think in the most of the world think that business are the coolest uh, way of 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 live <laughs> you know in this world so but they don't realize that this system has too many failures. You know, I, I, I saw yesterday that a, a news in the, I think in Bloomberg or on Economist about how, how much the central bank uh, is buying about uh, uh, financial uh, products, you know? So the economy is, failing and the central bank is buying this kind of uh, trash uh, financial assets uh, like the three, 300 million dollars per hour you know oh. so we are seeing that the economy is really with a lot of failures uh, the the climate change is becoming really 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 strong today so we are doing this that in chile and we started six six years ago and now we are very big in chile we we are um, the most well we started with a hygienic paper brand for for our first product for this new system. And now we are one of the most famous hygienic paper here in our country. And so we become very, very big uh, with this business and we are starting new businesses in vegan products, you know, and, and, and 
now we uh, in insects protein insects for 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 the future we are seeing a, a product to decarbonize the world is is a is a additive for for paints and you, the you can transform the the greenhouse gases uh, looking for new kind of energy we we have a new technology here in chile and a, a, a new startup that they build a new system, new mechanism, new new science to to get uh, energy from the sun, uh, and better than the traditional solar panels. So we are doing a lot of things now. Two years ago, I I, I was starting, but now we are very crazy now doing different kind of social business. I, I could feel that when we met for the first time because it was feeling that what you were doing was not this typical Silicon Valley exponential growth, but it was really based on people who were really truly believing in what you were doing. And then when you create these connections, usually you really have to fuck it up very strongly to really lo to lose them. Otherwise, people will keep supporting you if you create value for them. Um, it's very interesting, though, for you that you refer to that because it's something that has been very obvious to me, but it's not very obvious still in the world that probably businesses is the best way to accelerate positive impact. It's funny that we mm -hmm. have connected them so much with um, the ongoing financial growth and the ongoing destruction of, of planet Earth. But I do feel that if we put in a different goal there and, and use the same acceleration processes, then we can accelerate any type of impact that we would wish to have. So that's very interesting that you're going on that direction. Um, I don't know if you want to, to say something more about that. How did you end up actually realizing that? How, because if you did extended studies, I would be curious to see how you end up in, with this result and not Nonprofit, for, for example, or a big corporation, or anything, any other type of organization. Yes, well, we we are a social company, you know. So uh, we use the economy, the, the investors, the 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 profit of the product, you know, to grow and doing good things, you know. So. It's an it's a complete different aspect because you in the, the in the traditional company you know in the traditional capitalist uh, economy all the profit is for the investors you know so or the stockholders so you so all the energy of the company all the or or the processes or, or the technology everything is really focused to maximize the profit for the investors so that is the is the key the key ground element is that is wrong it's it's, it's awful for 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 the company development in, indeed because when okay maybe your your, your business can grow Okay, you have more, more profit, more profit, more profit, more profit. Okay, we are growing, 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 growing. But in the in in the way, you are destroying people. You are, uh, you know, discriminating people. Um, have very bad uh, processes. Your customers are very mad. <laughs> so that is result of this this uh, paradigm or this mindset of profit is the first mm. investor is the first in the company so we change that we change that in 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 this company uh, we don't have investors in like stockholders they don't have the power you know there is people we are we have raised more than one million dollars in in investments from regular people, from doctors, musicians, and lawyers, engineers. So we we pick a small amount of uh, investment. We we distribute the, the risk, you know, and we we give them better um, profits than the banks. 
you know so for them is it's a it's a good it's a good business it's a good business they like our company and we and 30 percent of the um, uh, from the profit is for the employees so and the rest of the 10% is for doing good things, you know, help people from the streets, uh, the kids in, in homes and uh, uh, without fathers. And we, we help a lot of uh, here in during COVID to vulnerable communities, you know, 10% for that. And the rest is for reinvest in our company. So the economy is totally different, you know. The, the, so let the, me the, let the me put that down. Is... Let me put that down because that's really interesting. So it's like thirty percent is going to the employees, ten percent is going to giving back practically to any initiative yeah. that you feel like. To so society. Forty percent there that is going into what not would have been going in traditional business, and you're still managing to give a better percentage, a better return to your investors. This is really interesting because most of the people feel that it, when they're investing in, an, in a, it, when they're doing an impact investment, so investing in a company that is looking for a better impact in the world, they will not have good returns. And I feel that this is mm. changing like very rapidly. And I just wanted to highlight it yes. because it's really interesting. Uh, and I remember yes. that back then when we met, you also had very interesting system, meaning technology systems that were able to create auto automation on your own processes. Has that continued like along with you? Yes. So, uh, well, when I worked for these big companies, I, I, I specialize in processes, you know, in technology and all that things. So that is a very key part of being a big business is is, is processes, is technologies, the people, you know, that is, is uh, the, the key element to really become a big company uh, and not being more an, a small entrepreneur, become a, you know, like a big, big uh, uh, business in, in your country. So uh, when we, we are, monitoring always what our work you know how is business how how is sorry uh, the financials how is the logistic how is the so you you have to have a system to measure that you have to 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 have the 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 measures uh, set goals a uh, continuous improvement um, mentality culture create that culture of continuous improvement so our processes are real now are really good i are, are really good and that impact in our customers our customers love our company love our service love our product love our quality love our people you know so that is that is result for two years of continuous improvement and create more systems and more system, more, more measurements. So that is, is, is really important to create this, these companies because you, you need a improved cost, you know, to, to, to give better solution because for, for example, in the, our to toilet paper is, is cheaper than the toilet paper in Walmart. Oh, you know that's pretty impressive so, so that is really important because the okay you are giving a solution for the customer is cheaper is more sustainable because we we are a circular economy company so we're recycling all the the packagings of our our products um so we are more more sustainable we are cheaper we have better service and we help communities and I love that the because customers like... mm -hmm. no please go on yes the so the customer and the investor they love that and now in in this in this time we are in 
2021, you know, we are, the world changing, we are continually um, connected, you know, so we use social medias, our, our Facebook, our Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, to get more followers, to get more customers, to get more investors. So we create that because here in Chile, after, before us, never you have that possibility to, to invest in a good business, you know? The, the only way was the bank or the stock market. But now we are the, the good guys. <laughs> the good guys with nice solutions, with uh, very nice companies, very organized are, and well run, you know, with, very, with good, good um, management. So that is important for the investor, that is important for the customers. And we are changing the way here in Chile how, uh, and how, how to do business because really in Chile, the people is really mad and tired about traditional companies because are corrupted, because they treat, treat very bad their employees, you know, they are monopolics. Some, some of them are monopolic too. So we are the, the unicorn, different, totally different with social impact, with disruptive company, we are very funny in the sun, in the social media, in, in Facebook. We are continually um, criticizing the the system, the politicians, the traditional companies. Uh, in in Instagram, we are very funny. We have a in the toilet paper brand in Incoludido. We have a, a big Incoludido that dance in the in the in the camera. You know. Uh, a lot of memes uh, of jokes and so we have now we have like 2,000 followers in 2,000 sorry 200,000 followers in our social medias meanwhile our the the big monopolic uh, uh, toilet paper brand in Chile that has 30 per, 30 centi 75% of the market, they had only 70,000. So they have 70,000, we have 200,000 followers. So we were double them. So we are making more, more noise. We are making more if, uh, people get love us. And we have a part, okay, we use the social medias, but we use the social art, the, the graffitis, the urban interventions to contribute in the, in the, in the city, you know? So for example, we, we, we take a all an, a, a skate park and we, we graffiti, we, we, we transform that and we, we do something spectacular. And the people in the streets say, oh, wow, our skate park was painted by Incoludido, by Social Growing. Wow, this, that is the company that I, I want to invest or I want to use their product. So it's, I love that. it's, re it's really different how we do business. So it's, it's, it's like the same structure, but with different, different culture, different goals, different mindsets, you know. I love that because you're really the live um, representation of how to use social capital, what we talk about like social capital, which is a very, maybe the strongest one and translate it into growth, but with a very authentic way. It's not just harnessing like social media as usually most companies do, it's like hardcore marketing, but it's more about really offering to the community and the community will automatically come back because of course, like it makes total sense. But I love that it's coming mm. from a place of really wanting to contribute instead of just trying to, to show that we are doing something, you know, like a lot of this greenwashing and everything that has been very big. Mm, but yes. I, I do feel that 
most people are able to sense it by now. So like they are able to sense which company is really doing it because they care and which company is just doing it to, to spread some sparkle and have more people like following them. I also feel that it's very important to, to showcase that what she said about also being very organized because many of the companies that are um, spiritual driven or um, more conscious oriented sometimes they underestimate the importance of the client's satisfaction once they have joined them also. Uh, sometimes thinking that just con the human connection is enough but also the processes are very important to have some, to maintain actually the connection that is being done through all of the other actions. Um, I'm wondering like if the system that you are using now for the micro investment is something that you would like to open to more companies or is this something that is mostly dedicated to your own projects? Uh, yes, well, we started with Incoludido, the toilet paper brand. We, for Incoludido, we, in these five years, we have raised more than like 100, like 1 million, 1 million and a half mm -hmm. and uh, dollars. Was it in and continuous then, rounds? Like, was it in specific rounds or it was just continuous open platform? No, it's invest? continuous mm -hmm. every month. Every month we have new investors and we pay to, to all the investors. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, then we started with uh, helping a, a new kind of a small mining company, social mm -hmm. mining, because we are, Chile is the, one of the biggest mining countries in the world. We are, oh, the, uh, sure. we produce the most uh, is copper, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, we want to change that. So we raised for them like um, was like one hundred thousand mm -hmm. uh, dollars, and we now we started with uh, helping with financing to a uh, vegan product center development. You know, some a uh, specialized center to develop all kind of vegan products, mm -hmm. uh, so that is working now. Yeah, is operating. And now we are gonna help uh, with financing uh, with, uh, to a uh, protein insect producing uh, mm -hmm. because we, we need solutions for food, uh, fruit, food produce. And uh, because the, you know, the, the, the climate change will impact very hard. So produce, produce all the food that we need is, will be difficult. So we are we are starting helping them, uh, and now we are working with. Uh, well, we we get a prize here in Chile. We we we, we won the Creative Business a uh, Cup, and that is a cup for only for creative uh, business. And these years, like we, we, we organized like social growing, we organized that cup for Chile. And we won for first time uh, in Latin America, we won that cup. And so we are working now with social growing and the creative business network in develop um, like accelerator, but for, this kind of business, so a creative business, but high impact, high social impact businesses. That's so that, that will expand our, our model to the world. That is, that is, that is my objective. <laughs> Try to, 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 to share this model, to implement this model for other countries, because for me, is the is the solution, it's the solution in the in, in the way of uh, getting capital. You know, when when you you are an entrepreneur, okay, you you maybe work one year, two years, you sweat a lot, you know, you suffer a lot because you don't have enough money, you don't have enough people, but you want your idea, you know. And in in our country, and I think in the most of the countries, it's difficult to get money. 
You know, the, the banks never, never help or invest or get my, uh, give some money to a good idea, you know, to, uh, uh, or a good, um, a good project. You know, they, they, they wanted houses, they wanted cars, they wanted, um, what, what do you want? What do you have to, for the money? So, but, but here in Chile, we don't have any solution for that. So we become the solution of very nice projects, very good um, entrepreneurs, you know, very prepared with a good equipment, and with a good team and good idea, good processes. So we help them with uh, connect with social investors because we, we transform to a social investment platform to canalize this, 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 this capital for the, the right uh, project for, for the world. I love that. I mean, uh, as we were talking before we started the call, it would be wonderful to get a deeper dive into your system and also being able to share how even in, in the project we are, we are growing right now, the Warriors for Elements, I do feel that is a project that will be very much growing, not only from social capital, but from all the four capitals, but coming in from the community itself instead of from big investments because that's the only way you can actually be really independent in the way that you are growing and operating. So I would be very mm. interested actually to see if there is something that we could implement and also offer it to anybody else from our network in case it's, it's possible to be easily tweaked and applied to the different types of, of businesses. But as we said, let's, mm. let's keep that for a separate um, presentation <laughs> of the social growing because I know there is a lot of information there that is it needs yeah, to be shared yeah. like separately. And as we're going towards the closing, I would like to ask you two simple questions. One you might have answered already. So this is what is your unique gift that you're bringing to the world? And I kind of feel that there are like different ways of doing processes, like doing processes consciously. But if there's something else that comes <laughs> out, <laughs> please let me know what you feel is your unique gift. Unique, my unique gift. Uh, well, I think is my my passion to save the world. You know, I I really I really worry that I work every day. I start very early. I work to very late. Always tracking how is um, the earth changing. You know, we are looking more and more um, uh, fluid. Uh, you know, uh, drugs, um, heat waves, storms, volcanoes. So uh, I, I am, I have been preparing myself and my company and my family, everybody, to face that moment. You know, we we need leaders. We for that time, the the air will change forever for us. The, the system will not support that change. You know, you know that the system must, will change, will change. But we will, will change because leaders like me, like you, like other guys that are working on, in a new ways, will take the, take the flag and, and make the changes in, in, in difficult uh, in difficult moment for the for the earth and, and, and for humanity. Absolutely, I do feel that a lot, and it's nice too that more companies are turning toward that. In that point in time that we're connecting again, uh, what is a way that what kind of support you would need as a company and as a person to be able to grow further? So right now, how could somebody or us, if we can, help you to grow further? To what what is present right now? Uh, how can you help us? Yeah, what do, you, what do you need? What do you, what do you need what from do somebody? You, because what do there's going to be different people hearing you and maybe somebody has what you need, you know? That's how we grow normally. Oh, great. <laughs> yes, great. Well, first, well, if there is any investor in the world that are looking for 
this new kind of economies or something very disruptive, we are here in Chile waiting you. <laughs> we are waiting you because we want to 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 grow for the world and spread this 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 uh, information. This 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 um, it's like it's like a um, it's an, like a new new knowledge. You know, it's like a new knowledge that. If you can share it in the different uh, countries, will be good for us because uh, we need the change in the in all the world, <laughs> not only in Chile. We 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 must change China. We must change United States. We must change Europe. So if you can help with investing with us or maybe uh, only sharing our content. Try to get more information about us. We have a book. Uh, I have an English translation if we, somebody wants to read it. Uh, that would be that's wonderful it, yeah. if you share with me so then I can share it also more openly. So you don't need to do it now. Just share with me after the book. It will be wonderful to share it with the, with the network. And... and once we get your country, once we social growing is in Greece, for example, <laughs> you can help us there in your country, you know, showing our your country, presenting more people, more connections, because we will need a lot of people to help us. Absolutely. It would be very interesting to look at, into your system to see if we can apply it. I'm, I will not uh, vote for, for Greece right now because I will be, I'm more based like in Switzerland, but I will be very happy to, uh, to actually apply it in this layer of more international um, entrepreneurs anyway. So we will, let's talk more about that. Uh, and before we close, I just wanted to see if there was anything else that you would like to share before we close for today. Uh, well, um, because I don't mention anything about spirit and in, in our company, you know, because uh, we are a quantum company. Oh, yeah. what is a quantum comp? What is a quantum company? Uh, is a company with a high consciousness to under because it understands that we are a network of people and one of that people, each of that people are a quantum people <laughs> you know it's a quantum being world yeah <laughs> and that has a mind has a body has a spirit you know so in our company we develop people in the spiritual way you know they they need to to understand how to meditate you know and they need to understand uh, about this spiritual knowledge to understand better their their self control their 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 thoughts you know and start creating good things with their mind and with their emotions and their hard work obviously <laughs> so <laughs> Thank you for adding so, that. I remember that big part yes. of your company, also big big part of the time of your employees were actually dedicated to that. Yeah, no, yes, normally I don't mention that because traditional business is not related with the spirit, you know, <laughs> but for in, in this case, uh, we, can, we can talk that freely because you understand that we are quantum people. We are transforming our reality every day. You know, the universe respond to you when you wish things and when you need things. So that is for part of our culture, you know. Thank so you for that. Yeah, that's exactly it, how we... Uh, very important. That's actually why the Warriors for Elements it was created because there's a lot of us entrepreneurs that we are applying that into everyday business and life, but it's not possible to talk it a lot in traditional business. So that's why I actually start creating this network <laughs> to be able to talk yes. freely between us. Yes. 
Thank you, Carlos, for that. Thank you for today. Stay on the call. I will just stop the live Facebook and then we'll talk the rest offline. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for today. Um, let's start our, our, la our last part is like smaller. I would go, I'm, just, I'm writing you in the chat through the three questions just for you to, to have them there. So it's practically just three things. I will go mute and I will just give you the stage. So it will, be, it will not be a question and answer. It will just be you presenting yourself for just for five minutes. And it's practically, who are you? Who, do you, who, are, who is Carlos right now? What is your unique gift? And what kind of support you need right now? And feel free to repeat things from the ones you said in, in our previous call, because there are two different things, yes. right? We don't have to say something new. So let me just close the transcript, disable, perfect. I will put you in the speaker's mode. Five minutes, yes? Exactly. And when you, I will go mute and when you're ready, you just start. Okay. Can I start? Yes. Hi, my name is Carlos. I'm from Chile. I am 30. Okay. No, sorry. Wait, I forgot to start 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 uh, start recording. Wait a second. Sorry, I forgot that. It's easier. It's just start stop and start. <laughs> 